I needed to upgrade my ancient thermostat and this Emerson Sensi Light thermostat fit my requirements. I needed a thermostat that for one, told me the temperature in my home, gave me the option to control it anywhere, and also gave me the ability to set schedules to turn on and off when I wanted, and this Sensi Light does just that. I'm going to show you what it comes with and how to install it on your wall and how easy it is to set up the app on your smartphone and what features come with the app. Okay, so this is the back plate with a leveler, which is nice screws to put in the back plate. You see me take out the face plate while I was talking before. This is a QR code to take you straight to the app to set it up. This is a nice welcome pamphlet with some icons and a little glossary so you get the idea of how to use it, which is pretty self-explanatory. This is the pamphlet with a nice three year limited warranty. So, you know, you can read through there if you wanna see what's covered, what's not. They also send you some labels so you can label the wires, which you should be using if you haven't already labeled your thermostat wires. Um, and I'll show you later on in the video. But for right now, I'm gonna take out these batteries right away. And I'm just gonna rest them inside so they don't roll away on me while I go to set it up. I initially wanted the Sensi Touch thermostat, which requires a C wire. However, upon further investigation in my furnace, whoever installed the wiring mixed up a few of them. And long story short, the wire that's connected to the C wire was not accessible down where the thermostat is. Um, it just looks like they installed two blue and two orange wires and got them mixed up. So to save me the headache, I returned the Sensi Touch thermostat and got this Sensi Light one because it actually doesn't require a C wire. If you do prefer this thermostat and do have a C wire, you can use this as well and ditch the batteries. So if you would like to see how I took off the ancient artifact that was my old thermostat, I'll provide the link to that in the video description below. Please be sure to go to your electric box and turn off the power to your AC and or furnace so you don't die in the process. Also, before you remove your old thermostat, please take a picture and or video of the old wiring in case something unexpectedly goes wrong like it did in my case, or you rent and eventually you move and you have to reinstall the old one. So after removing the old thermostat, I labeled the wires, which made it easy to identify them and install on the Sensi Light. This is the only nitpick I have with this Sensi Light, so I'll tell you guys right here. The mechanism they made to hold the wires was a little annoying. The Sensi Touch had simple buttons with clips. You can just insert the wires in, which made the installation obviously quicker. This Sensi Light, I guess they downgraded the manufacturing on purpose to degrade everyone for spending a few bucks less. And they make you have to screw the wires down manually to hold the wires in. In actuality, it's a simple process. However, dealing with four to six wires individually, it makes the process longer. Also, a standard Phillip head screwdriver is too big, so I had to run around and find a screwdriver that actually fit. Thankfully, I messed with computers enough to have a screwdriver set with multiple heads, so after three or four tries, I found one that fit perfectly. I'll insert the size of the head to save you time if you have one of these. Anyways, after that, it was smooth sailing. You get screw on the back plate and turn the power back on the electric box to your AC or furnace. After that, you just insert the batteries if you aren't using your C-wire and don't put the face on just yet because you have to scan the QR code that's on the back of the face plate in the app. All right, so after you download the app, you're gonna come to this screen, just press that plus on the top left to add a device, then press the one you have. This one's the light. Then after that, you press new installation. Uh, it's already on the wall, so mount and okay for the Bluetooth. And then it tells you to keep it open so you can put in the wires that you have, which is the red, the white, yellow, green, and C wire, even though I'm not using it. <laughs> Mine is a gas furnace, choose yours. And then now it asks you to oh, scan the wow. QR code. <laughs> And I had to get up and go get the faceplate. So after that, um, I tried to scan it, but then it said invalid QR code. So I was going to use the pin, but then I realized that's a lot of digits to try to squint and strain my eyeballs to see. 
So I ended up just canceling and re um, scanning the QR code and it worked. Okay. Then it says attach the thermostat to the base plate because next we're going to need to um, set up the Wi Fi. Okay. Um, now press the mode um, button for like four seconds and then it will show a little Wi Fi icon. And once that happens, it's going to show a um, screen, this one, and it says choose your network, find your Wi-Fi network, and then click it, press next, and then it's going to ask you to put in your password. So you have to put it in twice to verify, and then it will say configuring. So I sped it up because it actually took a couple of moments um, to configure. Then once that is ready, choose the name or you can choose a custom. I just chose probably thermostat for mine. Yep. And then click next. Then it's going to make you register. I wish there was a, a next time or later. But actually, when you click no thanks, I'll enter it manually. It asks you to like put in your address. So put in your address. Um, and then press next. And this is just me putting in the address. And this is about to be done. And five, four, three, two, one, zero, negative one negative two okay and then it just shows you contractor information um, which is not really important and then you'll say registering and setup complete now you are finally in okay so m when I'm gonna leave this here because on this screen um, it's off so that's why it's like a dark gray but something happened when I guess because if it was new or whatever it went offline um, I don't know why I was just looking through the menus and then for somehow, I don't know, it like disconnected. I don't know. I think I have footage, but I'm just messing around. You see with the, um, thermometer on the right. Here we go. It says thermostat offline reestablished connection. So I actually took around like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. I went through the troubleshooting to see what was going on, but I guess it was just, I don't know, rebooting, loading, I don't know, trying to connect. So if that happens, don't worry. Just like I think I came out of the app and reloaded the app and it just clicked together after a while. So I guess that's for a new like machine, but whatever. Um, I really wish <laughs> I had more instructions than to close the app and reload it and to wait but you're gonna have to um so yeah i was kind of just like puzzled for a moment there and let me see i will probably cut the time it took for it to reload but you can hear in the background um the stuff blowing so i actually connected because it i turned it down to 75 you see so you'll see throughout the video, the temperature drop because it's actually um, cooling. So here you can put the fan on auto circulating mode where it's a couple of times per hour. The fan moves and then um, I actually turned it off because I didn't want the fan on. I just wanted to see if it worked. The cool thing is it shows you the humidity, which is nice. Um, so you don't have to have an extra humidistat around. And see the temperature is already dropping I think the setting I have it on now is cool um and then when you click on the cool setting it shows you the different um, settings you can do you can do um, heating obviously cooling and then cooling auto which heats and cools um, and here's the scheduling 
which is pretty cool. So when you go in, it already has preset times. I just went in and delete, uh, deleted all the ones I didn't need. And um, I kept the ones I did. And you can also um, choose the time for it to, like let's say you want it to start at 10 p.m., which I do, you can cool to 75. You can add an auto schedule or keeps it, which keeps it in like a certain temperature. So let's say you want it to cool to 75, but you want it to start the heat at 60 degrees. You can do that. Um, and then it also has a fan auto uh, schedule thingamajinger too. So that is super helpful. Um, I don't need more than one. Um, perhaps if you want it to start at different times, you clearly can. So see, you can start the set points. So I just really went in and just deleted all the extra schedules um, because I was actually planning to schedule it. And here's the auto schedule. So you see the keep between temperatures. So you don't have to do a separate heat, a separate cool if you're in a season where um, it heats up and cools down dramatically. Um, like where I'm at, you can do that, which is also pretty cool. You can just set it one time and let it go. The geofencing uh, uses your phone location. So when you leave your house, um, it knows. And when you're at home, it starts. So see, it already went down from 83 to 81 at this point. You can also choose no schedule. Um, and the other two options were um, early start. So it will start cooling or heating, whatever your temperature, like five minutes before, so that at the actual time, it will be ready. These are the system settings. You can take a look um, and pause and see if you would like to change these. I kept them at the same um, settings. I didn't need to change anything. These are service reminders. I only wanted it to push notify me, so I actually turned off the email option these are current programs that are in your location um mine specifically i was not interested in they just um offer you a smart thermostat in exchange for controlling your temperature really and for research purposes and keeping track of everything so i really didn't want that because they also provide you with a crappy device so <laughs> that's it um but yeah that is pretty much it. Um, the hold that you see is to hold the temperature until the schedule starts that I don't use. And you can also turn off the scheduling by pressing the cool and pressing that. So see, it turns gray. Okay, overall, I'm super satisfied with my Sensi light. At the time of this video, I actually caught a good sale. It was uh, $66, so in my opinion, it was a pretty competitive price. I'm happy I actually get to see the temperature in my home compared to my old one. Um, I like the fact that I can see the temperature anywhere remotely, access the controls, and also set schedules, which is pretty useful in the summer and winter. Um, also, if I need to, I can simply just turn it off and then the schedules won't turn on if I don't want them to for a day or a season. I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you next time.